Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. For today's video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Excel data with Access database. So we are going to be taking this bank entry extensions that we have from um, two different sources, our original set of transactions uh, and a new transaction set with a later date. Okay. So notice that we are in Excel, that in the data tab here, we have a series of commands from the get external data and we have commands to get from Access, but uh, we do not have a command to export to Access. Okay, so from Excel, we can only import, but we cannot export um, to Access. So our process will actually begin in access okay so let me switch over to access and this is uh, Microsoft access and in access in the external data tab we have the group for import okay so we have the options to um, import as well as to export so um, here we have export and here we have import okay but before we start let's take a look at what we are working with okay over here in our banking transactions notice that our top row has the field headers we have the date source branch type and also the amount and we have the same in our uh, second set of transactions which comes in uh, with the later date we have the date source branch type and also the amount so let's go over to access and start the process so we have here uh, in access and um, we have a database but we do not have any information yet as you can see there is no tables here so our table is going to come from excel so from the get uh, from the external data re, uh, uh, external data ribbon and from the import group click on excel okay and you will see this uh, import wizard so let's get through the wizard so um, here you have two options you can either import the source data or you can link the data source by creating a link table so for this instance i'm going to choose the first option we will import um, the source data and now here we have to browse for the documents so the excel file that i have is this one over here okay let's click open and click ok so now we have several worksheets in this uh, excel spreadsheet okay so this is the page where we determine which worksheet that we want to choose so uh, banking transact transactions is the one that we're going to choose okay uh, notice here in the date field we have serial numbers but in Excel we have dates okay so we have the source the branch type and also the amount and in the amount here we want to make sure that it contains values and not formula okay so click next so here we have um, our first row contains the column header, column headings. Yes, we're gonna select that and uh, click next. And this is the step where we have to define um, our data type. So for the date, we are going to use the data type as date and time. For the source, it's going to be text. The branch is going to be text. For the type is going to be text and for the amount we're going to use currency okay so take the next step and here is the major difference between access and excel okay in access uh, it uses primary key okay the key is to use is this primary key is used to relate one table to the next okay so let's use this default option that access at primary key okay and this is the key uh, this is how the key will look like okay so click next 
and this is the name that you're going to have for your database okay usually you will take the name of the worksheet the first worksheet or sheet one uh, for this case I'm happy with this name so I'm going to click OK and finish and this is a, a option that the access will give you asking you if you want to save these import steps okay so if you are importing information from Excel on a regular basis you can save this as your regular procedure but uh, let's just do a one-off this time so just leave this empty and click close so uh, now in access we have our banking transaction database okay so if double click this we will see this over here okay um, so here are the primary keys that has been added we have our date source or branch of type and also the amount which are in different currency okay uh, and uh, we let's come away to the design right click design view okay so for currency we can change it you know but uh, let's leave it for the primary key um, the values will be added based on increment okay and there will be no duplicates okay so uh, that is that is about it and let's go back to the transaction or the data sheet view okay let's see if I can change this okay let's leave it at this currency okay and now we want to import the new transactions into access okay and before before that let's see i have here 163 records okay so now we want to import the new transactions into access okay um, so once again we go to the external data okay we go to excel and now we have a third choice which is append a copy of the records to the table okay so we're going to be choosing this because we want to update our database and the database is the this database that we are working on okay and once again we need to choose the file that contains the information from excel so this is this file is uh, basically the same file click ok and click ok so do you want to save ok let's just cancel let's close this table closed and now we do it append select the file click ok and now this is where we choose the worksheet ok so uh, our new transactions is in this worksheet over here so click next and the first row contains the column heading has already been checked and import to table banking transactions yes and finished so once again it's asking us if we want to save these import steps so we're going to ignore it so let's close this and now let's open up the banking transactions and if you notice down here now our records uh, we have 326 records so uh, let's go to the last one okay this is in 10th of November 2010 and let's double check with our information in Excel okay 10th of November so it's exactly the same okay so now we see the new transactions in the database in access okay and um, it's so you see it's very easy for us to append a database by importing our data from Excel okay so that is how you can uh, import Excel data into Microsoft access so that's it for this video I will see you in the next video